what's going on? It's Happy King, motherfucker. I'm back. Look. You feel me? Drink your water, motherfuckers. And look. In the desert. Where motherfuckers is doing this shit. Hold on. I already did it. You know, but look. So. Motherfuckers don't bug this shit. Had to get to my roots on this one, man. Live from Dubai. This is this is the game I'm about to give y'all, man. Y'all not ready for the game, man. Let me tell you why. <clears throat> this is inspired. Shout out to uh Ever Overton. You feel me? Shout out to TTG. We well, was on TTG's live, right? So y'all be wanting this pimp game now, and I got that. So <clears throat> hold on. Let me see something, because I can't see myself. It's so fucking hot and glary out here. If I'm sweating, it's because I'm in the desert. Don't, don't fucking hit me. You sweating. Motherfucker, I'm in the desert. <laughs> Fuck. Anyways, this is the game. Y'all not ready for the game. So I was on TTG shit, right? And so, dude won the pimp game. He, he wanted to know how to get a woman's mind. See, when you ask me shit like that, you get free. That's how you get free consultations. By asking me some real ass shit, you know, you want to get your ex back, man. You gotta pay for that shit. You feel me? But you want you want to elevate yourself, man. I'm here for you. Feel what I'm saying? So look. After that, the next motherfucker, TT, you get in my comments on this one, because this is my back. I took a month off, you know, for 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 the different reasons. Let me get over here. Let me show y'all this shit. Let me get over here. So, anyways, yeah desert. So, this motherfucker said, after I broke down for 20 minutes, at least 10 minutes, of how to fucking um, get a woman's mind, this guy asked me how to flirt with waitresses. That let me know right there, y'all not ready for this game, man. Even if you had, even if you thought that, if I'm talking about Stealing a woman's soul. Don't ask me about a flirt. Not even how to fuck a waitress. Bruh, how to flirt with a waitress? Do it look like I care about flirting with waitresses? Hold on. No. So look, this is what I want y'all to do, man. This is the new movement, man, because see, I, I baited y'all with the dating shit, man. I, I, am I a dating coach? No, I'm not no fucking dating coach. But I can talk about women all day because, shit, I know women and I, you know, I smash a lot of chicks. And this is why. This is why. And this is not my birthday. It's not my birthday or none of that shit. This is just regular fucking just when I felt like doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be out again in a minute. But the point is, we writing our goals down. We focusing on our goals first. You know, like AMS. Shout out to AMS. He said, get on your purpose, get on your purpose. Y'all not on your purpose, though. Y'all just be on some riders, like, yeah, yeah. Y'all not really on it, man, because if y'all was on it, y'all can't say y'all on, on your purpose and then talk about a girl you like. That don't make no sense. And and, 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 and like with AMS, this is, okay, so I bought AMS's book, right? Motherfucker, you think I bought AMS's book to get tricks on women? No. If you thought that, that shit inspired me to do better. Why? Now, don't get me wrong. I buy other dating coaches' books. I got Ron Wheel's book. I got Lucario's book. I got Mo Wedd. Never read that fucking Mo One shit. But the point of it is, is I was a part of that journey. I remember him bringing it up before he even said he was writing it. I remember him bringing it up, talking about it, and getting it done. Now he's a author now. That's what I look at. I look, I look at people to inspire me. Just like he inspired me to make a channel, now he inspires. So guess what? We taking three months off of the of the chicks, man. Got to. I gotta be a fucking author by the end of this year, man. I don't care if the book weak as fuck. I, I mean, I do care. Don't fucking disappoint that I'm making. We. I want to be an author. Why not? So as soon as I got that book, I'm like, damn. This dude did that shit. This motherfucker is a number one selling author now. I gotta step my game up, and I appreciate you, man, because you putting that book out 
you know, I'm a writer too, but I be trying to write, fuck with chicks, and do all this shit. That just let me know, man, I gotta put this shit on hold. Then guess what? Guess what happens when I become an author? I'm gonna get more chicks and better chicks. Why? Because I have status now. When I tell a chick a writer she think it's cool, I can blow her mind when I read it to her. Don't get me wrong. You think if I talk this well, you think I ain't a good motherfucking writer? Of course I am. But the whole point is, when I tell her, oh, here go my book right here. Won! I won! She lost because she chose. When you choose, you lose. I'm back, man. We on our purpose. You write your goals down. You comment. Don't tell me nothing about my outfit. This is what you comment. You write your three goals down. Mine, the by December, I got to finish this book. I'm going to lose weight. And I ain't fat. And the, and the thing is, but I'm getting close to 40, man. So I smoke, I drink, I do all this shit. So it's going to be harder for me to do shit when I'm up in age. Y'all ever watch Poppy Blasted? I'm a waiver, so I follow Poppy Blasted. You feel me? And if you watch Poppy Blasted, he was a little chunky. He wasn't fat. He was chunky. Now he ripped. I'm the next Poppy Blasted. This is my journey. Y'all see me now? Y'all gonna see me when I'm a principal? Y'all following a millionaire. Fuck these bitches, man. And y'all gonna see all of it. So y'all write y'all shit down, so I'm gonna be following y'all too. You understand what I'm saying? Write your shit down. Me, author, get ripped, and fucking, I, I don't know, them the most important one. I guess fucking stop uh, smoking and drinking and shit, man. I guess that's going to be the one. You know? Don't, if your credit ain't right, quit asking about women. If you ain't got your own spot, get your own spot first. It's going to be much easier. Meeting chicks, taking them down when you ain't got to get a room or wonder where hit me or AMS up or Lucario or TTG or Evan Overton to say I ain't got my spot yet. How, where am I going to take her? You ain't ready for the game yet. It's okay. Get on your shit. Quit saying this purpose, purpose, purpose like it's a no. Get on your purpose. Write down your goals today after this. Put them in the comments. I will, I will call you. I will email you and make sure you on your shit. But I gotta know you serious. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? About to ride some camels, man. This is the real shit. This is the boss king. This is what I really wanted to talk about. Yeah, we can talk about chicks. But if you're talking about chicks and you ain't on your purpose and you ain't got no goals, man, I'm gonna just send you somewhere else. Get your shit together first, man. You fat, get skinny. You ain't got no credit, get better credit. The women will come. Just my DMs is going to be popping. Because I'm out here. I ain't worried about no chip. When I get back to the room, I'm going to have like 10 options at least. It's a mindset, man. Like I tell you, mindset shit, not pick up tricks. It's a mindset for this, man. This is the Boss King channel, man. And I will help you. Quit thinking so damn small, though. Y'all value these women too much. They don't value you. We don't, they value me. They value me. They value me. They don't value y'all. Why? Because it's like you guys are pennies, man. And I'm a quarter, man. And I'm not talking shit. But what I'm saying is, is when you put so much value on shit, the value don't put value on you. You feel me? If you, if you texting and calling chicks, bam, 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 they don't got to worry. They, that's why they flaking. This is the answer. Y'all wonder why women flake? Motherfucker, because they can. You know? In the desert, though. Because they can. Make it to where they can't. This is how you do. I've been trying to tell y'all this whole time. Y'all don't miss it. Y'all miss the point of what I'm saying. When you make yourself a boss, women will value your time. Because they think you're a catch. They're like, man, if I flake on him, he ain't going to rock with me. That's the point of this shit. 
So now, I gotta really spell it out. I be trying to do some little subliminal shit. No, I can't do that with y'all. I see I can't do that with y'all. So now, that's the point of this shit. That's the point of this channel. Mindset. I could have just put dating in game. Dating and wrong. No, mindset is first. The dating was just the, you feel me? Mindset. Be a winner, man. It's, it's women out here in Lamborghinis and shit. Any chick that you, any any, any DM that, I'm, that, that, that I get, if somebody asking me about, you go travel the world. That 10 gonna be a 7. But you don't know because if I if I lived in Oakland this whole time and I ain't never seen none of this shit, then I'd be like, ooh, she had 10. That's what I'd be like, a 10? What is a 10? Because I know y'all don't know. Because if y'all did know, I would be seeing it. Fuck with some exotics, man. Let's quit driving these fucking Hondas and all that, man. Get you some Europeans. Get you some whips, man. And I don't mean whips. I mean whips subliminally. Get your foreign shit off, man. Live life. Lamborghini. Austin Martin. Do the shit that everybody ain't doing. Then you get the shit that everybody ain't getting. Why? Because you have value. And I'm out, man. About to ride a camel. Just got off a four-wheeler. Now I'm about to go ride a camel. And I got a sweet. The fuck? The kingdom, man. Wake. It's time to wake up. Put your goals down under this shit, too. Peace.